Some of the world's fastest growing economies are found in Africa, where most of its wealth comes from the private sector through primary extraction operations. Africa currently has 2.1 trillion US dollars worth of private wealth. According to Henley and Partners' most recent 2022 Africa Wealth Report, currently, 136,000 high net worth individuals with a personal wealth of $1 million or more, 305 semi millionaires with a net worth of $100 million or more, and 21 billionaires reside in Africa. A person's net assets, such as real estate, cash, stocks, and business interests, are called private wealth. These five nations you're about to learn about, among others, are home to many of Africa's wealthiest businesses and people. Africa's wealth is measured not only in monetary terms but also in terms of her natural and socio-geographical potentials, including, but not limited to, coal, petroleum, chemicals, wood, metals, and minerals. While falling behind other continents, Africa has enough riches to show signs of development clearly. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the African web channel so you won't miss out on our next video. Also, press the notification bell. The publication by Henley claims that five nations comprise more than half of Africa's wealth. In these five nations, a significant increase in individual wealth of over 50% is anticipated over the next 10 years. You will learn about recent changes in the top five nations, which account for more than 50% of Africa's wealth. Here are the five countries with 50% of all Africa's wealth. Number 5. Kenya. $91 billion. Kenya is at the bottom of the list, with $91 billion of the continent's total private wealth. Kenya a country in East Africa with a large population of about 54 million people and a GDP of $110.4 billion as of 2022, is located close to the Indian Ocean's coast. Kenya is the biggest and most significant commercial, financial, and transportation hub in East Africa. The nation has renowned scenery, abundant wildlife, stable living conditions, and a well-established coffee and tea industry. However, Southeast and Central Africa's rapidly expanding agriculture sector is the most prosperous industry. In addition, its coastline has evolved into a hub for various key ports used by Asian and Arabian traders. Interestingly, Kenya, unlike other less developed nations, does not rely heavily on the oil industry for its income. Instead, the country makes wise and effective investments that help to create a thriving service industry and other profitable enterprises. As a result, the country's economy experienced one of Sub-Saharan Africa's most substantial growth rates in 2019. With all of these investments and endeavors, the nation's real GDP increases by 4.6%. They had made investments in several businesses across the nation, increasing their net worth to about $3 billion. They wisely invest a sizable portion of their money in advancing the country. In addition, Kenya's agriculture industry, which primarily produces coffee, tea, and maize, has made a significant economic contribution. This has encouraged exploitation, and the nation has previously seen a boom in tourist and financial growth. Number 4, Morocco, $125 billion. Morocco is ranked fourth among the nations that produce more than half of Africa's wealth, with a GDP of more than 132.7 billion US dollars. It represents $125 billion in private wealth for all of Africa. Morocco is a North African nation with borders with the Atlantic and Mediterranean seas. Its population is over 37 million, and a surface area of 446,300 square kilometers. This North African country's economy is diverse and stable, and it has grown in several areas over the past 10 years. However, it is the second largest African nation that doesn't produce oil. Aziz Akanik, one of the wealthiest black persons in the world with a net worth of $1.9 billion, resides in Morocco. He made his fortune in the oil and gas industry. Although tourism accounts for 55% of Morocco's economic growth, mining and manufacturing still account for most of the country's GDP. The tourism industry helps to supplement this, 
as locals are welcomed as tourists, and the government prioritizes luring travelers to its alluring tourist destinations. Interestingly, Morocco ranks third in the world for phosphorus production and has tremendously benefited from this. The export of various goods, including inorganic chemicals, crude minerals, fertilizers, petroleum products, fruits, and vegetables, not to mention electrical equipment and auto parts, has brought in a lot of money to the country. Number 3, Nigeria, $228 billion. Nigeria is the third richest nation in Africa, holding $228 billion in private wealth, or more than half of the continent's total wealth. Geographically, it is located in the Atlantic Ocean between the Sahel to the north and the Gulf of Guinea to the south. With nearly 218 million people living in 36 states, the nation has a total size of 923,967 square kilometers. Nigeria is the 8th largest exporter and the 12th largest oil producer in the world, with a GDP of about 440 billion US dollars. Nigeria has 159 oil fields, with the Niger Delta Basin being the most productive. Oil production is the nation's primary economic activity. The latest Ukrainian conflict has jeopardized its natural gas supply to Europe. Since May 2022, this has forced the Nigerian natural gas pipelines to Morocco and Algeria. According to the Organization of Petroleum Exploiting Countries OPEC, Nigeria exports over 1.6 million barrels of crude oil daily, accounting for 10% of the nation's total GDP and more than 80% of the export sector's income. Moreover, Nigeria has a plethora of raw minerals and natural resources, in addition to petroleum, that contributes to the area's prosperity. They include iron ore, coal, limestone, zinc, lead, tin, natural gas, and niobium. Aliko Dangote, the richest man in Africa, resides in Nigeria and is the owner and chief executive officer of the Dangote Group, one of Nigeria's largest corporations. His cement plant makes a lot of money, and as a result, it is responsible for nearly 20% of the nation's market value. As a result, Nigeria, which has a diverse population, a beautiful natural environment, and a thriving cultural legacy, continues to have one of the highest GDP outputs on the African continent. Number 2. Egypt, $307 billion. Egypt, a country in Africa's northeast, ranks second on the list of nations that comprise more than 50% of the continent's wealth. The country is home to $307 billion of the continent's total private wealth. According to figures from the World Bank, Egypt has a population of approximately 100 million people, making it the 12th most populous nation in the world. The country has one of the longest histories, dating back to the fourth millennium. She will partly emerge among the most developed nations on the African continent because of this far-reaching truth. Egypt's economy, with a GDP of about 404 billion US dollars, largely depends on tourism, media, agriculture, petroleum products, and natural gas. The country has established a natural gas, coal, oil, hydropower, and oil-based energy market. Egypt's economy has gradually recovered after a period of stagnation thanks to the government's adoption of more liberal policies. Egypt now enjoys higher tourist receipts and higher stock market profits. The fact that Egyptians living abroad make significant contributions to the growth of the primary sector is another element that has helped Egypt earn such a reputation. According to the World Bank, Egyptians who are abroad will send trillions of dollars in remittances and earnings between 2009 and 2022. Nasef Sawiris is the richest person in Egypt as of June 2022. The well-known business tycoon is worth $3.4 billion, his investments and construction projects account for almost 6% of the nation's GDP. The tourism, energy, transportation, water supply, and sanitation industries are only a few of the very profitable ones in Egypt's economy. The fact that a sizable portion of the population lives below the poverty line, unemployment, a poor healthcare system, and a global slowdown in economic activity, however, could provide Egypt with significant socio-economic issues. Therefore, it's time to identify the African nation that contributes the most to the continent's economy. 
Number 1, South Africa, $651 billion. Lastly, South Africa sits at the top of the nations responsible for more than half of Africa's wealth. The country is responsible for $651 billion of the continent's total private wealth. The most populous country south of the equator, South Africa, is multiracial. Pretoria, Bloemfontein, and Cape Town are its three capital cities, and more than 60 million residents speak 11 distinct languages. The nation is renowned worldwide for its tremendous socio-economic and multicultural potential. This country has a total GDP of 419 billion US dollars and a land area of 1,221,037 square kilometers. After Nigeria, South Africa has the second largest mixed economy in Africa. Compared to other African countries, South Africa has a lower percentage of jobs in the informal sector, only 15%. Despite being the primary source of most of Africa's riches, South Africa still has high unemployment and poverty rates. It is among the top 10 countries in the world for economic inequality. The population's reliance on the formal sector as its primary source of income can be used to explain this. The mining industry is booming in South Africa. The nation produces gold and diamonds in respectable quantities, making it a mineral treasure trove ranked sixth in the world. South Africa was the birthplace of scientific innovations, including heart transplants and crystallographic electron microscopy. As a result, the nation can boast of having a strong science breed. The richest black person of African descent globally resides in the country. Elon Musk is from South Africa with several other wealthy Africans. The richest firm in Africa, Naspers Media Conglomerate, is also headquartered in South Africa. All of these contribute to the country's robust economy. You now know the five countries that produce more than half of all the continent's riches. We hope this article has expanded on what you already know about Africa or taught you something new. Did you know that 30% of the world's mineral reserves are found in Africa? Africa has the largest platinum, cobalt, uranium, and diamond deposits. Moreover, the continent contains 10% of the world's renewable freshwater resources and more than 65% of all arable land. What do you think about our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.